4 million people take the tube every day, making it the most heavily used mode of transport in London. The tube can be a world of unspoken signals and gestures. While people say little when they're traveling, there might be a lot going on inside. Fears of danger, stereotypical assumptions, or anger at being unfairly distrusted. All this contributes to a high tension between tube travelers. Therefore, we were wondering if there was a way to make passengers feel more at ease and to create a more positive tube experience. To do so, we propose Project Mira, an experimental interactive musical experience that aims to change the interpersonal dynamics on the tube. Meet Rob. He takes the tube to work five days a week. He goes through the almost the exact same journey each time and doesn't think twice. He gets into a station, passes through a ticket barrier and goes on an escalator. He waits on the platform. He's bored. He's playing on his phone. The train arrives. He boards the train and looks around wearily. He ultimately decides to sit down and keep to himself. He avoids any sort of contact with other passengers. Rob is a typical passenger on the tube. In fact, if you look around, most people tend to compensate this close proximity in a confined space by further isolating themselves from other people. They do so by either going on their cell phones or avoiding eye contact or just reading the newspaper. This makes the tube a pretty grim place to be in. Is there a way to break the tension and ultimately create a more positive experience for passengers? What if this experience could be different? Rob enters the tube station as usual. He taps his Oyster card and notices something different. He hears music made from collective taps of Oyster cards of his fellow passengers. He goes down the stairs in a slightly happier mood. He gets on the train and intuitively holds onto a pole. Immediately he notices something different. He hears music playing as he grabs onto the pole. Rob is intrigued. He tries out different positions and gestures on the pole. He's delighted to find out that the music also changes. He continues to interact with the pole until he gets to his destination. This short musical experience brightened up Rob's normally mundane commute. He gets out the tube and gets on the escalator where he hears the tunes he just created. He exits the station, feeling a little happier and positive about his day ahead. Now let's take a look at another group of people on the same train. Joanne, Adrian, and Peter are three strangers on the same commute. Originally isolated, they were brought together by the musical handrail on the tube. Through collaborating together to create music, the barrier was broken. This simple interaction evokes a momentary feeling of trust among people and encourages a better sense of community. We looked into ways to occupy public space. We ran a series of experiments involving different signs, such as visual signs. We drew a circle on a crowded street and observed how people reacted. Most people were quite respecting of our space. Look at this woman, she avoided our circle completely. Afterwards, we wondered how much personal space actually matters. We ran a series of experiments in the lift, which was a confined space. We found that most people just shoveled around awkwardly or took out their phones to avoid contact until we broke the tension. Good, how are you? Good, good. Having a good day? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it's for really Halloween party. Incredibly cozy. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Bye. We found that having more personal space might not necessarily mean an increased utility in that space. 
In general, people were more accepting of the decrease in personal space when there was some sort of positive interaction. So we are wondering, how can we break the tension in a confined space? Balancing design opportunities in an impactful context, we ultimately decided to focus on the tube journey. We looked into different interaction triggers such as finding common ground gestures or having different visual signs. We experimented with visual signals such as signs on the tube to see if they would influence how people chose their seats. It encouraged conversation between strangers who got intrigued by these signs. Feeling like this experiment was a little bit passive, we wondered if having a person present could make this more active. In this experiment, we held up signs to see if people wanted to talk to us. And it worked. Some people even asked for our contact. In our next experiment, we wanted to see how we could gain the momentary trust of strangers in a very short period of time. We were wondering if these people would give us a high five, a very simple gesture. We actually achieved a 90% success rate in this experiment. Most people willingly participated in our experiment, except for this woman who was obviously on her phone. Through our experiment, we found that it was possible to create a momentary feeling of trust among strangers by getting them to complete a simple task together. So we were wondering, how can we better integrate this into daily lives? We looked into pre-existing structures on the tube and different types of media, such as visual signals and sound audios. Ultimately, we decided to focus on music. Here is a demonstration and user testing of our initial prototype. In general, most people agreed that this would create a more fun and interactive experience on the tube. In particular, it was mentioned that collaborating to create music together had a definite effect on breaking the tension among strangers. We collaborated with a composer from the Royal College of Music in order to work out the most appropriate tunes to play. In order to have more relevant music, we also considered the occupancy of the tube during different times of the day. During morning peak hours, we proposed using light and upbeat music. As the day goes on, light and chill music will be played to encourage a more happy and playful atmosphere. During evening peak hours, relaxing music will be played. People would have the option of interacting or just simply sitting and enjoying the music. For late nights, we propose using soothing and calm music to signify the end of the day. And here is our production process. We now invite you to join our musical journey on the tube. Please have your Oyster card ready.